Okay, so we're going to take an OPG. We're in the test patient. Okay, so you have to click Easy Den. Um, if you don't see this button here, Easy Den, it means you need to click the little three dots there and you need to select OPG and then you click Easy Den and it will open their file in Easy Den. If they don't have a file, it'll create a new one. If it comes up with an error message, it means that they haven't filled out the form or they haven't put their date of birth in yet. So don't ever just open EasyDent and make a patient in EasyDent because then it won't link to their core practice patient and it will be really annoying. So we need to just um, put in their date of birth in core practice if they don't have one. So you can just like add their date of birth here or otherwise tell them to finish filling up the form because they should fill up the form anyway. Ready. Ready? Okay. Alright, so um, now you're in the patient's file. Now you're going to go at the top and click on, so in the patient's file at the top you're going to click on acquisition. If you want to take a cone beam, you choose CT. If you want to take a OPG, you choose panorama. Um, Sometimes I like to take a PA in the um, Easy Dent if I want to take measurements on my PA, then you can choose Twain, but you wouldn't often do that. But instead of doing that, you can actually export picture, uh, PA from, from core practice and then you can import it from here and then like file import but that's a whole different story if we're just taking an OPG you're going to click on panorama do you think that was too much information okay so it's already got automatically the most commonly used settings so 90% of the time I wouldn't change it here where it says man, woman, child, most people would be the woman size. Child, if they're like, not for a small adult, just only for a child, it'll cut off their sinuses though. So if you wanna see their sinuses, use woman. If you don't care about seeing their sinuses, you can use child. Um, man is if they're really tall, because otherwise it's just quite, um, even for an average size man, I feel like the man is a big setting. Okay, and then you can click here, confirm. And then these are the sleeves for the PG. So you can just grab a sleeve and so the patient goes in that way and you come in this way. And then there's handles here for the patient to hold and here you can move up and down and then I'm just going to stand there so you can see the beam on my face if you want or do you want to practice on me mm -hmm. do you want me okay. to like, actually if, if you can bite onto it yep uh, I think they're actually going to go up a bit higher. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. a little bit more. And just. The beam out of track this line. I feel like a chin down would be good. Can mm -hmm. you chin down? I'll move down. Yep. Good. Okay. And then securing mm -hmm. beam off. Just don't actually radiate it because I have my headphones in. Like, just don't, mm. um, don't, what do you call that? Expose it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, it has an open and close button. So I just mm -hmm. pressed the close button. Mm -hmm.
That's good. Can you show like which one moves the beam and which one? I think sideways moves the beam and up and down moves the platform, right? Yeah. So this moves the platform and this moves the beam. So I'll turn the beam back on. I can see it. So that went up, and the this beam went down now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And beam off. Now. And then this ready. You have to push it really hard, and it'll like do like you might have to push it. A I'll press times. it now. Then I'll come out with you and we'll do that for. So this is also done. Yeah. Okay. The system is ready to capture it. Please close your eyes until you capture it. So then you come out and you can close the door. If you want to see them, um, or let me just say, so because the dental assistant might use this video. So when you put the patient, maybe we'll make a different one for patient positioning here. Yeah, I'll make this one can be like OPG. Alright, so uh, just pretend your patient is inside, you've got them into position and everything. You can close the door. If you want to see them, you can see them through the glass. Then this is the um, activating button. And then um, I just have a screensaver on here because otherwise we don't want like people walking past and seeing someone's x rays or photos and stuff. So then um, you can just push that button on the top and press and hold it um, but only when the, mesh, the the computer would tell you that it's ready to press but um, I can show that part but there was there was something here where it would have said like ready to you know capture or something and so now it says capturing is complete release the x-ray switch so then you can now you can let go of the button so all this time you've been holding the button you can let go. And then the um, dental assistant will normally do this for you, but you can just click save. If you don't click save and you cancel it, it actually deletes the x-ray. It's very annoying. Um, here you can click viewer. And then to save it into core practice, right click and then export. And then where it says original, you change it to JPEG and then click export. And then go in radiographs. Yeah, we're in radiographs. So radiographs is in pictures. Uh, what am I doing? So like if you go to pictures and then radiographs and then select folder and then just click OK. And now we're going to go back in core practice and we will go on media import media the green button and then that was the wrong no it wasn't the wrong thing you click browse uh, radiographs and it'll be usually at the top and you can just double check the date and time to make sure so that says 30th of july 3 33 pm 30th of July, 3.34 p.m. So that is the one that we just took and click open and then just like choose your name and panoramic x-ray and import all and then it'll show up in core practice and then um, sometimes when you press play it'll come up with like a red kind of almost like a no smoking sign if that happens and you still want to look at the picture, you can click on the little stethoscope and then it always works. Oh, also, if you want to change like brightness and contrast and stuff, it's in the stethoscope thing. And then over here to this side, usually the only one I ever change is the gamma. So it just like kind of makes it, you know, dark or lighter. But for the OPG, you don't usually need to change the gamma normally just for the, um, um, sometimes on the bite wings.